I loved my dad. I loved him coming home for dinner so we could talk about that night's program. I loved riding my bike to meet him in the summer when he drove home to the country house. I loved sailing with him, trimming the sails while he navigated. He was good at that too. Back in the days before satellite navigation, he would get us right to the harbor's mouth after hours in a dark fog. I admired my dad. He was just a reporter, he'd say. He just ended up reporting bigger and bigger stories. He was fast, too. I liked watching him swivel around and rewrite stories during commercial breaks. During the 1960s, when the country sometimes felt it would revert to the 1860s, his reporter's instincts for fairness and accuracy seemed to me to help Americans on both sides of the political fence understand each other. He liked to quote Thomas Jefferson, a nation that expects to be ignorant and free expects what never can and never will be. My folks had lived through the Depression, War and Cold War before I was born. In the same year as Sputnik, Dad said he walked home from the hospital that morning along the East River, making plans for this new son of his. I think most of those plans came true. Thank you, Dad. Thanks for rushing to the side of the boat when the boom knocked me overboard. You stood there ready to jump in after me, and then you were glad you didn't have to. Thanks for getting ready to take out my appendix yourself with a sharpened spoon <laughs> on the plains of Africa, two days' drive from a hospital. That time, I was glad you didn't have to. <laughs> Thanks for being such fun to work with, as you and Sandy Soklo and I went from one small production company to another in the 1990s. Thanks for being such a good role model, doing your homework, being polite, saying to mom as you passed her in the hall or in the kitchen, shall we dance? And then taking her for a few turns around the room. I'm happy for my dad. I'm happy that he had so many interesting and varied friends over the years, and that he'd bring them home. I'm happy that he finished his autobiography of a reporter's life before his health began to fail. I'm sorry, I insulted him by saying I was surprised at how funny it was. He said I should have known how funny he was. <laughs> I'm happy he had such caring doctors and nurses in his last few years. When we were young, my sisters and I came to Sunday school here at St. Bart's. Four years ago, we memorialized our mom here. Then we went out to Kansas City to bury her. We'll be going back out soon to put dad's ashes next to mom's.